Alright, goddammit, I've been wanting to do this video for a long ass freaking time now, and that is the PlayStation 3 game collection. Uh, I got a total of 95 damn games. I just counted it. You can count it in the video if you want yourself, just in case, you know, it's what? It's 10 19 in the morning. I normally get up this early. I really get up around the afternoon because I'm lazy, some bitch. But anyway, let's get into it, goddammit. Uh, plus, game collection and I decided to throw in movie collection and PS2 collection and PlayStation collection so this is a collection video goddamn I know how long this be but let's get into this mother sucker mother sucker no all right starting off this is organized by uh shit fighting games uh RPG games uh story third person shooter games first person shooter games I think I already said that First person shooter games, I said that horror games to movies to PS2 to showing off my hardware. Let's get into it. I'm sorry if this video is a little, uh, there we go. I don't know. I got a haircut if you didn't notice in my last video, my hair's like, pfft. Anyway, starting out with this number one. By the way, I've been this collection, I've been doing this collection since 2006. So, what? Uh, what, uh, seven, eight, nine, about nine years now? Almost ten years worth of collection. I want y'all to think I'm a spoiled brat. I bought half of these games, my mother bought other half, you know, throughout the years. So, I'll start off with number one, Bayonetta Part 1. Bayonetta. I will show gameplay of all of this, uh, gameplay, but that's 95 different gameplay videos I gotta edit. My freaking computer gonna freaking explode. Bayonetta. I'm gonna give you my thoughts on it, too. Bayonetta. Uh, it's a pretty good game. Got a boner a few times playing this game because of that, if you didn't know. Um, I will be posting more gameplay of it on my channel, but you two want to act like a little bitch and have these copyright claims for playing a freaking game. It's plus Sega's having some kind of copyright thing going on. So that's Bayonetta 1. Uh, I got this on Amazon. Uh, I got a lot of stuff. Uh, God, thank you. I want to just do it like this. Up next, Metal Gear Solid 4. Guns of the Patriots. Very good game. My brother got it when it came out in 2009. Uh, no, 2008. Um, I think it's probably the best out of the series. Uh, somebody don't agree with me. <coughs> Last <Blasting> game. <coughs> uh, pretty cool game. Uh, pretty long. I mean, you don't really. If you're a Metal Gear fan, you have to get this. I mean, I don't know about Metal Gear 5 because I'm not on. I'm not on that open world shit. But Metal Gear 5. I mean, 4. Best Metal Gear. Up next. Infamous Part One. Uh, Frank get, uh, bought me this like in 2008. No, 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 no. This came in 2009, 2010, -ish, and I loved it. Put so many hours to this game. I still need to platinum this game. So yeah, Infamous. Also, great story. Love it. Up next, Heaven Rain. You know, before I thought this said heavy, heavy, heavenly, he heavenly, heavenly rain. Uh, Okay, anyway, uh, Heavy Rain. Now, this game is really good. I mean, if you have a PlayStation 3, get it. Just, just get it. Don't question me. Uh, just get the damn game. It's a really good game. Uh, pretty much about Origami Killer going around. And uh, he, uh, somebody, he, uh, he plays his four characters. And you need to know who the Origami Killer is. And when this game came out, everybody was talking about it. Like, I remember I rated it at... Uh, Best Buy, no, not Best Buy, uh, Blockbuster years ago, and, uh, and my mother had a late fee on her Best Buy, uh, Blockbuster card, and the lady didn't say nothing, so I guess she was so excited talking about the game, she didn't say nothing, and I remember when I first played this, like, what the hell is that? Great game, great game, um, just, oh, wow, amazing, check, check that out. Next up is Kane Lynch 2, Dog Days, right there. Yeah, um, I only beat this game about one time. It's a pretty cool game. I heard the story was really inspired by uh, game, uh, movies like Man on Fire with Denzel Washington and movies like that. So I think it's a pretty uh, cool game. It does have a, uh, it does have like a survival mode, I believe, or no. Uh, it has um, some modes, different modes which keeps me coming back from it. Um, I only paid like $8 for this at GameStop. Pretty cool. 40 hours of hell can land right there. Dog baby that you can serve. Yeah. Next up, I got this from GameStop. $17.99 was a 
buy two, get one free, or something like that. I forgot what the other game I bought. But that's Yakuza Dead Souls. This is a Japanese game. You all know Japanese games are all the best. Shout out to Tokyo, my partners out there. Uh, Yakuza Dead Souls. I got this. Like I said, game's out. Blast 56 is online. Uh, and it says violence is in their blood. Pretty much it's about. It's got. Shut up, that thing. I'm doing a video. You want to you wanna, you wanna help me out? Shit, be quiet. No. Anyway. Uh, yeah. Kind of, uh, pretty cool. I mean, gameplay's a little weird. Uh, it's, it's normally a fighting game. I heard they're doing a Yakuza 5. Actually, it's already out in Japan. But, you know, it has problems with these overseas, you know, like us, with the USA, not as stupid at. I'm uh, sorry. Um, yeah. Yakuza Dead Souls. Pretty cool game. I haven't really beat it. I actually freaking started all over because, like, I was beating the boss and I couldn't beat him. I was fighting the boss on the company and I got so mad I just deleted my whole profile. So now I gotta start all over again and collect every- oh my god. Okay, but anyway, you know, tell me when we get back into that. Next up is a series. Hold up, hold up, hold up. If you guys see my PS3, my controller is broken to hell. I need some, I need a new PS3 controller, look at that. This is shit, this, this, you can't really see it on the camera. But uh, hold up. Hold on. Last one's playing that Fallout. God dang it, hold on. I'm sorry guys, I'm so crowded up over here. I'm gonna take this controller and wipe my dog ass with it. Is it keep is it keep it's keep fucking up? Look at that! Look at that. Fuck it. Okay. Anyway, let's go and get you hit that. I'm not touching it. You, you see that, right? Anyway, moving on up to moving on, moving on up to Uncharted Jake's Fortune. I got this when it came out. 2007. And for Christmas, I got it. It came out 2007, and I just, I just love it. I mean, you know, this game is pretty much a bitch to you. I'm playing on crushing mode. I platinum this game, by the way. Uncharted Drake's Fortune. Can't wait for that Uncharted Fizzo. Uncharted Foe. One ordinary man, one ordinary adventure. And you, you know, you, you can't have, you can't have one by two. So Uncharted Two, which I think everybody think, everybody's saying that's just the best in the series. Which uh, maybe I can probably agree with them on some terms. It is back, like so. And you can't have two without three. Uncharted, three, three, Drake Deception. Now this is the one where people people liked it, but they say it wasn't as good as two. Um, this game was a bitch on Crusher too, on very hard mode, like so. As you can see there. Okay, so that's that was the Uncharted series. Uh, I gotta make sure I organize all this back. Move on up to the fighting category, right? Fighting. Yeah. Fighting. If you guys hear some talk in the background, it's people on the golf field. Um, but anyway, moving on up to uh, fighting. Uh, let's go ahead and begin Ooh. with UFC Undisputed 3. I beat your ass in this blasting. Um, I got it for Christmas of 20. 13. I remember my mom. I told my mom to get us BestBuy.com because I had it for like 20 bucks. And I haven't really been playing it. That's the that shit. I haven't really been playing it that much. Uh, because I, since it says your move. Pretty cool game. It's pretty fun. You know, a lot of people are not really talking about the new UFC one. Uh, next up, Fighting Champion. Got this from Games. No, Amazon. I got it from Amazon. Uh, and this is supposedly the best fighting game, best boxing game out there. And I like to say one of the best fighting games as well. Got Manny Pacquiao and Miguel Cotto right there. Do y'all hear uh, Manny Pacquiao is fighting Mayweather this year? All money on Manny Pacquiao. I'm not going with that Mayweather. No, a lot of people just like him because he went a lot. You can't count a guy out if they, whatever. You don't care. Anyway, yeah. Um, I, I tried online. I never won. My, my my winning streak on there is like six losses and zero wins. I'm horrible on. Uh, what's next? All right. So this, all right, this is not a fighting game. I should say sports game, fighting slash fighting, whatever. It's not in order. Uh, this came with my PH3 when I got it. And yeah, I know it's not a fighting game. Grand Theft Auto 5. I haven't really played it. I don't really like racing games at all, to be honest with you. I think they're very boring. Uh, so yeah, I got the disc. Here's the disc. It came with the PS3. 
Um, yeah, I don't like that shit. No, I don't like that shit. No. <laughs> no. And as before, if it's two babies, this one's pretty good. Um, if I had to say which one's better between Infamous 1 and 2, maybe 2, I don't know. Uh, the ending on this game is pretty sad, though. I mean, you gotta play part 1 to understand what I mean by it being sad, or to get connected with the character. Uh, but Infamous Second Son on PS4, I'm gonna get that when I get my PS4. Uh, yeah, and I can't, this also came with the PS4, no, PS3. So it came with Gran Turismo and it came with this. Pretty cool. Even though here's a disc I'm gonna show you. Like this too. Great, great game. I think it was one of the best PS3 games. Alright, moving on up to moving on next to Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Now a lot of people are just kind of bashing on this game, like, oh it sucks. If you, by the way, I got a couple news right here. I'm hungry. Uh, oh it sucks. I think it was a this is a really fun game. The, the, the graphics are really cool with the whole cell shade and stuff. Um, I'm really glad I did get this one. I paid like 20 to 30 some dollars at GameStop for this. Uh, I was going to get the regular edition, but it doesn't come with all the fighters. So this comes with, it has all of the fighters that you see on here is actually in the game. So this is a really fun game to play with some people. Really fun game. I can't wait for whatever they do is multiple uh, Marvel's Capcom 4 on the next year. That's going to be new. Next up, I did buy some GameStop as well. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna stop saying where I bought it from. Uh, Street Fighter Cross Tekken. Got Ryu in there. Uh, I think, really, that girl right there said Nina. You got the sexy child Nina right there. Y'all make sure y'all check out my, uh, check out my top 50 most sexiest female game characters of all time. It's an hour and nine minutes long, but these characters are on there. Plus, you get to see some ass. Animated ass. So, uh, yeah. Uh, total 43 playable characters. Pretty cool. Uh, next up is a sexy blind girl. Lollipop chainsaw. Uh, I've been playing this. I got this for my birthday of last year. Uh, pretty cool game. Really funny. A lot of humor in it. I love game with humor. That's why I love like Saints World like that because this game got a lot of humor in it. Um, yeah, I got this from Amazon, but I use that Amazon money as a Christmas gift. So yeah, it's that. Pretty cool. Just look, boo! Look at the boo, boobies, boobies. I'm just kidding. Um, all right. Next up, I know it's not in order, by the way. I'm just Dante's Inferno. Which is a really, oh, this game is really, uh, it really makes you think, because it's about, um, it's actually on a real guy, I forgot his name, yeah, Dante, his real name's Dante, and he's like a poem guy or something like that from the early, early years, like in the 17, 14th century or something like that, I'm not sure, um, he does poetry, and like, he always imagined, imagined what hell would be like, so, pretty much, it says, go to hell on the back. Really cool game, like really. It's, it's like, and it shows you different. It's pretty much about the nine circles of hell, like different different levels of hell, like uh, lust, greed, gluttony, um, sloth, all that stuff. And it's really interesting, really kind of like a. It's kind of like God of War gameplay, I would say, but better. Next up is Batman: The Game of the Year Edition. Let me tell you, let me tell you the story of what happened with me with this. Let me tell you the story. I bought this game two times. One time I bought it off Amazon. They sent me the game case. But it was, when I opened the shit, it was Batman Arkham City Arkham Asylum Game of the Year Edition. When it was supposed to be Arkham City Game of the Year. They sent me Arkham Asylum when I asked Arkham City and I was pissed. I never got my money back because I didn't know how to do that shit. So it was only like, I paid like, how much was that? Like $15? I was pissed, man. But anyway, I haven't really been playing much on it. I got stuck on the part. Got that lovely Harley Quinn on there. And it comes with all DLC. Uh, Harley Quinn's Revenge, Catwoman Pack, uh, it, all the shit. Challenge Map, all that. I'm not going to get Batman Arkham Origins because I don't. 
their Batman games are getting kind of played out. I don't know if you guys know it. They're, they're kind of releasing a bit too much. Next up is one of not so much of my favorites. Mortal Kombat regular edition, not the complete edition. Uh, this game is a bunch of ass. The game's a bunch of cheese. This game's cheating. I can't even beat Shao Kahn because he's fucking spamming you with his hammer and shit. So, uh, yeah. And, and only on PlayStation, only on PlayStation, it includes Kratos, which I thought was pretty cool. You know, he's kind of slow. Next up, I had fun with this game. EA Sports MMA. I, I actually beat the, the, uh, the, um, him. The career mode is really fun. Like, you can go, I went undefeated on here. 50 and oh, I went undefeated in my career on this game. And, uh, my character name is Vinny Hill. He kind of looks like me, I would say. Actually, my, he looks like my GTA guy character. But this is a really fun game. Really fun game. This is... I can whoop some ass on here. Oh, hold up. Get a little unorganized. Alright, next up is what I'm talking about. Batman Arkham Asylum. Game of the Year Edition, even though... Yeah, Game of the Year Edition, but... Yeah, that's that. I already, I, already, I already beat that game. Um, I such indeed platinum. And next up, I rarely play this anymore. I got this for Christmas of 2007 with my Uncharted Rick's Fortune. Or SmackDown vs. Raw 2008 featuring ECW. Now, this is pretty damn old. This came out in 07, like I said. Um, got, which I heard these, I heard the uh, 2007 to 2009 have a better storyline than the uh, 2015 one or 14 one. So this is going to include some old characters on it. Pretty cool. I, I don't think I got into career mode too much. And by the way, Fastlane is this Sunday. Yeah, for WWE if you watch wrestling. Next up, Street Fighter 4. Let's do this. I got this, I don't know when. Uh, but, you know, I don't play too much of it since I got Street Fighter X Tekken. So I really won't really be playing this. So, uh... Blast them. I'll probably sell you this for like five bucks or something. Next up, I got this from I got this in 2006 when it came out. That is Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah. Now I'm not really too much of a Sonic fan, but I never beat this game because there's some bullshit on here, some cheating ass levels. So that's Sonic. All right, moving on up, moving on up to. Play uh, first person shooters. Let's get that out the way. My camera's getting ready to die in a few, but I'm thinking about in these following games right here, I'm thinking about selling to the game side. Battlefield 2. Uh, the reason why that, because I don't think nobody's really online anymore, and I don't too much care for the story anymore. So I'll probably check to see if anybody's online. And if there's still a good, decent amount of people online, then I will play. Battlefield right there. I think this game would be really good if they remastered this for P for next gen. That would be a great idea. Oh yeah, that's the limited edition, by the way. Uh, you know what? I think I got that for Christmas. Wait a minute. Yeah, I think so. So I probably won't sell it. I don't like selling stuff I get for Christmas. Next up is Brink. I got it for real cheap. Uh, let me tell you the story that happened. I went to GameStop, right, to buy this game. And this damn lady gonna say, do you have an ID? I'm like, it's teen. Last time I checked, it's 13 or older. Do I look fucking younger than 13? That, I was like pissed, cause I walked from my house way down to GameStop and my school was like right next to GameStop. I was pissed, cause then, then I came back later on the day and I remember she whispered something to another worker in there. It sounded like she said, that's that guy that came in here really and trying to get me. It sounded like she said that because, you know, and I went in and bought the game and I bought it from the other lady. I'm like, bitch, come on. But, uh, yeah, man, I mean, wow. Okay, so next up is Rainbow Six Vegas. I really don't play this game that much. I'm definitely going to sell this. You know, you know you buy those, you buy any damn game. Next up, Mass Effect 2. I'm not, I don't really like Mass Effect. I mean, I'm trying to get into it, but it's, I don't know. I don't, I'm not a really a fan of sci-fi. 
like Star Trek and Star Wars that shit. I'm not a fan of sci-fi, so maybe that's why I don't like it. But I don't know. But you know. Whatever. Okay. So moving on to uh, let me go ahead and get this. Ugh. Hold on. Okay. Okay, this one's a little collection. Assassin's Creed 2. Probably one of probably the best Assassin's Creed in the series in terms of story. Uh, really, a really good game. I mean, it's really good. Really good. The start of NCO, Alitore da Fiente. Here's the back. Um, I'm almost platinum this game. Next up is. Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. This is my favorite. And this is everybody's this is everybody's favorite. Assassin's Creed Brotherhood right there. The best. It had a multiplayer in it. I never really tried it out because you gotta have a passport. But her is pretty good. Really good game. I mean it's wow. It's amazing. Next up is Assassin's Creed Revelations. I do have all almost all of that. The second best one, in my opinion. I mean, this is this wrapped up the NCL story. Um, I really think that'll be a good, you know, collection too. HD collection of all NCOs, Assassin's Creed for the you know next gen console. I think that'd be cool. Really, really cool. This wrapped up the story. Last best Assassin's Creed, in my opinion. And up after that was the worst Assassin's Creed, in my opinion. And part of most people opinion, Assassin's Creed 3, this game sucked ass. This game was fucking horrible. The Connor, he sucked. He said, Connor is boring. He's like, I need to find the people and I kill my family. I'm like, this dude is boring. He's always mad. Like, the character on here was just, just boring. I mean, everybody was like, oh my god, that shit look amazing. Till they played it. And here's the back. And it's about the American Revolution. But, uh, shit. Next up is better than... Assassin's Creed 3, it's Assassin's Creed 4, Black Flag, which is about pirates in the Caribbean area, Caribbean Sea. Um, really cool, lots more stuff to do than probably all the Assassin's Creed. Um, really fun game, it's really fun. Um, I enjoyed the story a bit more than AC3, but time will tell you, I have not beat this game yet, and I bought this new from Amazon. Alright, so that's, that's all the Assassin's Creed. Let's go on to the Resident Evil ones. Start off with Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City. This game uh, is pretty fun. I mean, no, not too many people like it, but I think it's really cool. It was something different. Um, and they brought back zombies, which wasn't too much a uh, good effect uh, into it, but it's pretty cool. It has multiplayer. This is the best multiplayer in the Resident Evil, Resident Evil series. By the Oh, shit. All right, moving on to Resident Evil Revelations. Really good game. <coughs> Bought for about $28 off of Amazon. Uh, this was originally on the 3DS. <coughs> shit. It supposed to be. <coughs> shit. Supposed to be focused on the. Um, supposed to be focused on the uh, horror of the, the old classic horrors of Resident Evil, but. It's not really all that scary. It'll kind of get you once in a while, but no. But Re Revelations 2 is coming out uh, in March. The entire game comes out on Vita, PS3, PS4, Xbox One, PC. I'm going to get it for PS4. Next up is Resident Evil 5. This one is really just packed with action. I mean, like, wow. I mean, it's still a good game, though, you know. Pretty cool, we got the sexy Chevy right there. Uh, next up is Resident Evil 6, which a lot of people didn't really like too much. It's a pretty cool game, I like it. Um, if I had to give it the lowest score possible, it would probably be a 7, but the highest is an 8. I like it. You know, I, 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 I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm like in love with Sherry on there. Sherry is that girl right there. She's freaking hot, man. Man, that's why I like it. But anyway, that's done with the Resident Evils. Let's go ahead and get on with, uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and go with the RPGs. RPG time, baby. 
RPG games. Is next. Oh, yeah, it's a big ass stack. You seen it, huh? Starting off, I got this for Christmas. It's just passed. Uh, Dragon Age Inquisition. My brother bought it for me. Thank him. Uh, Dragon Age Inquisition. Haven't played too much of it. Uh, it's pretty cool so far. Uh, beautiful, beautiful game. Um, pretty cool. I mean, just the only thing I like about it is that you're like you're. It gives you levels. I mean, just some of the missions are giving you places to do. Some of the missions that are too hard, like you're like level five, and and these the enemies on some of these levels are like level twelve. I'm like, what the shit? So that's pretty cool. Uh, oh yes, my baby, my favorite game ever, maybe. Skyrim, a masterpiece. The people love this game, and I do too. Uh, Blast them, just picked them, picked it up. Uh, just it's just amazing I mean whoo, I just thought some sexy right now imagine if they did a P a next gen release of this HD re, a HD release of Skyrim oh I will buy that shit I don't I know I don't really buy games I already have on PS3 but I'll have to buy it graphics we did this game is fucking amazing man I mean like 10 out of 10 best game ever not ever, but ever. Woo, this Skyrim, man. Woo. I had to stop playing that for a while because I'm so addicted to it. Next up is another one of my favorite games, Dragon's Dogma. Really cool game. They got that Dark Arisen, but I probably picked that up, whatever, sometime. Uh, which I heard they're coming out with Dragon's Dogma online, which is supposed to be free, but I heard it won't be released till for a while. Uh, really cool game, very fun. Uh, probably one of the best gameplays in RPG I've ever seen in terms of third person because you can actually mount your you actually mount a uh, a um what you call it, an enemy fight dragons you can mount a whole it's amazing just wow absolutely amazing next up I just got this not about a month ago or so Tales of Xillia now this is Oh, I thought the Oh, where the fuck is this guy? Here's the disc. Tales of Gazillia. Now, this is my first time playing a Tales game, I know. Uh, but it's a really pretty cool game. I mean like it's it's kinda like Final Fantasy slash Dragon's Dolphin, I would say, because you can run freely in, in this game. You know how in uh, in Final Fantasy you're stuck in that area, you can move around freely on this one. Really good game so far. I'm really enjoying the acting. Really enjoying the uh, the cartoons. Really like an anime type game. Um, I heard that this is uh, they got Tales of Gazillia 2. I'm gonna pick that up. And they got Tales. They got they got a lot of games. They've been coming out for a very long time. I'm gonna pick up Tales of Gazillia 2 and Tales of what's the other one? Tales of Gracie's Graces F. It's a really good game so far. I'm only about like three hours in it, into it though. Next up, I got this for Christmas. Got it from Amazon. Final Fantasy Lightning Returns. Thir Final Fantasy 13 Lightning Returns. Boobies! Uh, this one is continuing the story from Final Fantasy 13 too. Uh, a lot of people, I really like the gameplay on it. I mean, if, if every single Final Fantasy game was like this, the gameplay was like this, I would buy it. I just don't like that whole, not, you're not fully like, in the combat in the old Final Fantasy, you just push a button and your 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 character attacks on their own on its own. It's a really good game so far. All right, next up, oh yes, Diablo three or Devil three, which uh you know means Devil in Spanish. Devil uh Devil three Re Reaper Souls. Now this comes with all the DLC, which only came with one DLC, which in which was in extra chapter chapter five into all the chapters four in the red edition uh really oh man i'm having a blast with this i haven't played it in some time but i'm having a blast with this this is also available for the ps4 it's available for the ps4 and our next gen and it's, it's a really good game i mean wow all right next up is kingdoms of alamar reckoning pretty cool game uh as you see there, really having some fun with it. Haven't been playing it that much. Well, I haven't been playing it, but haven't played it in a while that much. Okay, 
Dark Siders 2, I haven't really been playing this at all, to tell you the truth. Here's the thing, here's the story with this from Amazon. That's the story from Amazon you might notice. Uh, here's the story with this. Bought this from Amazon, right? I bought it used. And when I got it in the mail, it was in rep sheet. They gave, they sent me a new copy when I clearly asked for use. That's fucking, that's cool. They probably said, oh, fuck it, let's just get it. Become death. I heard that this game is getting re, re, uh, remastered for next gen. Once again, another game coming to next gen from last gen. Become death. So, uh, have, I mean, I'm not really too much into it right now. I haven't really been playing it at all. Uh, next up is Alice Madness Returns, which is kind of like a uh, Alice in Wonderland movie, which I believe. It's pretty cool. I haven't been playing that much either. Oh shit, my battery's about to die. Uh, next up, Fallout 3, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People think that Fallout 4 can come out this year, but if it doesn't, I'm going to laugh my ass off. But if it do, it do. Really fun game. Really fun game. Really fun. Really fun. Really, 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 really fun. You should find out New Vegas. This is the one blasting game is playing right now. Uh, I remember when I first bought this game, I thought it sucked, so I took it back. So I bought it again. Gave it another chance. Pretty fun. I think I'd say fall off New Vegas is probably more fun if you get more guns and stuff. Next up, a super classic. Oblivion, baby. Oblivion, Oblivion, Oblivion. And this came out in 2006, which was the best RPG of two of 2006, one game of the year 2006. Uh, this PSG version just came out later. I believe it dropped on Xbox 360 and PC first, I believe. Really cool game. I haven't played that much into it. Uh, this is the Elder Scrolls 4, and Skyrim is the Elder Scrolls 5. But this one, pretty cool. I'm liking it. It's, it's very, uh, very unique for that time, too. All right, that's all with the RPGs. Now let's move on to the, let's go on to the, uh, the horror, the horror game collection. Oh my goodness. Starting off with this, Condemn 2, Bloodshot. I heard that they're gonna do a Condemn 3, let's hope. Uh, Condemn, really, this is a really pretty cool game. This was made by the people who did Fear 2. Mon, uh, Monolith, uh, yeah, Monolith. Pretty, pretty scary, not that scary, but it's kind of scary, it's like a psychological type game where it plays with your head and the character's head. Really fun. A lot of people don't really like it that much, but hey, I like it. Next up is definitely a game that people don't like too much. Silent Hill Homecoming, which everybody says was horrible. I think it's horrible. The story, or you really pay attention to the story, it's really unique. But um, I think they should have left Pyramid Head out of this because it would have been a whole lot made more sense. But it's a really cool game. I remember playing this with my uh, cousin a whole lot before. So I bought it. I actually bought this game before, but I had to buy it again because the fucking disc got a crack in it after playing it for a while. Really fun. Not fun, but really. Uh, it's fun, but really uh, good horror game. Next up is Fear 2 Project Origins. Uh, yeah, this game's pretty scary. But, uh, you know, the little girl. I mean, I, I really want them to do a Fear 4, man. There are so many games that need to come back. Because all this shit that's coming out today is just fucking whack. But, like, PS3 era, the Xbox 360 era is the best era of games. I don't know about this next gen, y'all. I'm got. i telling you. I got to tell you the truth about that. I don't know about this. 2013 might have been the last great year for games. Uh, but yeah, Fear 2. I uh, had a multiplayer. Uh, I don't know why it's not on. Uh, Fear 3, which I can agree this is not scary at all. I mean, this is not scary at all. I mean, it'll, it'll kind of start you sometimes, but it's supposedly the guy who fucking made... Uh, what's that movie? It's Freddy or some, some... Some horror movie worked on this. John Carpenter or something like that worked on this. Um, not, if he did... It's not scary, bro. But it's fun. It does have a survival mode, which uh, round by round, you gotta survive. Really cool. I think that was really made the game worthwhile. If it didn't, if it didn't have that mode, then it would've been just worthless. Oh, next up, I didn't play this game yet because I haven't beat the other two. Dead Space 3. I just bought this recently. 
uh, Amazon. I do a lot of Amazon shopping. Amazon, pretty cool. Uh, did play the demo. Dead Space 2. I haven't even played this. I bought, I, I bought this game like five, four months, six months ago. I haven't played it yet because I haven't beat Dead Space 1. I'm playing, I'm currently playing this. I haven't played it in a while. Kind of stuck on part. Dead Space 1. Let me tell you, Dead Space is one of the scariest freaking games out there. I mean, wow. But yeah, next up, Silent Hill HD Collection. Now, a lot of people saying this is shit because they left a lot of shit out or took a lot of shit out from the originals. Um, but I think this is a good opportunity, a good game to buy if you don't feel like looking for the original ones. So, include Silent Hill 2 and Silent Hill 3. There you go, right there. I'm currently playing this right now. So, uh, this are best the best horror games ever. Side Hill, best horror games, hand down. Next up, The Evil Within. I'm kind of currently playing this. I played this like two days ago. Let me just tell you, I mean, I mean, man, I mean, it's like Resident Evil 4 with horror to it. I mean, it, so far, man, it said it's supposed to be pure. Survival horror. Haven't really been seen that doing much, bro. Alright, so that's done with the horror games. Let's go ahead and go on with the first person shooters. The completely overrated games ever. Ugh, let's turn this baby on her back. Wait a minute. As you can see, I have a lot of fucking first person shooters due to my scrub day noises. Okay. Number one, Resistance Fall Man. This was my first PS3 game. This was my first PS3 game that I got. That and Sonic Hedgehog. I remember. I remember buying this. I remember standing in line in San Francisco because I used to live in Bay Area. Uh, I remember uh, standing in San Francisco inside this big gaming store, and this was on the shelves. It already came out, uh, and I remember buying it. And I'm all like, "You want that?" I'm like, "Yeah." And it's it's pretty cool. I mean, it's really fun, really amazing for that time. This game is what started the PS3 revolution of just like wow, man. I'm like Resistance is a classic, man. You gotta give it to this game. This is what this is what you know started it off. Well, man, right there. Next up is Bullet Star Limited Edition. Uh, kind of a crazy, wonky game. I have I have beat it. Next up is Time to kick ass and shoot bubblegum. Do nuke him forever. I have beaten this game. Uh, do game got a little nudie in it. Of course, do nuke him. Um, I don't know. Probably beat it again on hard mode. Probably rage quit though. Let's do nuke him. Sorry, you can hear my chair squeaking. Entire video. Next up is Call of Horrors. The Cartel. Sexy. But uh, yeah. This game is first person shooter. Uh, wait a minute. Yeah, it's first person, yeah. Um, the original, which originally was in old Western games, this one's more of a LA type one. I mean, it's a cool game. The acting's kind of bad. The gunplay's pretty fun. Story is whatever. But it's, it's all right. You know, it's all right. Next up is Borderlands 1, which recently got back online, if you didn't hear well, Got back on. Not reason. I don't know. But uh, yeah, I haven't beat it yet. I don't really care for Borderlands anymore. All right. And next up is Dead Island. Freaking the best zombie game on PS3 as of now. I mean, like freaking amazing. Like wow. A lot of people say, "Oh, it's fucking fucking it's fucking up." It's really fun though. You get past the bugs and glitches. It's a really fun game. I almost flattened that game as well. Next up, I'll probably do a two part to this shit, huh? This video. Next up is Crisis 2. Crisis 2. Um, if you guys play Advanced Warfare, which I'm pretty sure you have, it seemed like they got inspired by this game because you know how in Advanced Warfare you jump up to shoot stuff, uh, use the exo pack? It's like this on this game too. And this game came out in 2010. I remember when I played the beta uh, on Xbox, 
and it was pretty fun. Um, pretty cool game. I don't know if anybody's online anymore. Next up is Killzone 2. I haven't beat it yet. Part won't be for a while because you gotta have a freaking actual PS3 controller. Because the whole six axis thing. Next up is really good game, Bioshock 2. Uh, I have. No, have I? I don't think I beat this game yet, huh? No way. No, I don't think I beat this yet. This is a challenging game, though. Uh, the only line. I gotta say, this is one of the best games 2K had ever did. Bioshock, man. 2, just amazing, yo. I do have Bioshock 1, and that comes with this. Bioshock Infinite, which includes Bioshock 1, only on PlayStation 3. Sponsor. Um, this is a pretty good game, too. Uh, the voice actor who did this game, the voice actor who did him, was the guy who did Last of Us from Joel, if you didn't know. Troy Baker. Uh, winner of over 80 awards. Um, I haven't beat it yet, but it's, it's pretty in yeah, interesting story so far. Um, <coughs> it does have multiplayer though. All right, Rage. Something I've been doing a lot lately. Uh, I have beat it, but so I'm having a stroke playing it hard. Pretty cool game so far uh, from the creators of Doom and Crank. <coughs> Alright, Dishonor. I haven't been playing it that much. Haven't really got into it. Ugh. I remember getting this from GameStop brand new. Far Cry 3. Really good game. I don't know about Far Cry 4, which I heard that it's pretty much the same as Far Cry 3, so I'm going to hold off on it for a while. I'm almost platinum this game. I'm like 70 something to 80 something percent in. Voss is the best freaking Vass, Voss, whatever. Vass is the best villain ever. This dude. Wow. He was so good in the story. People were saying, like, damn, he's like good, like Joker from the Batman. You know, Joker did a really good job. Like that. Did I Riptide? I'm almost freaking platinum this game. Um, I would have almost platinum it. If it wasn't for a damn trophy that's freaking glitching. So if you want to play this game, you guys, you're going to get some glitches. Okay. Borderlands 2. Uh, whatever. Next up is Wonder Man or the Ball's favorite. PS3 Muffin. Battlefield 4. This game is, this is the best first person shooter competitive game ever. I don't care. What game you put in front of me? This takes the cake, people. Battlefield 4. Only in Battlefield. That beta is also. Try that beta for that horror line. I don't know about horror line, though. Alright, that's all for the first person shooters. Uh, let's go with our last stack, which is our third person shooter game, I would say. So many games, oh my goodness. Start off with, hold up. Start off with, I'm gonna do this. All right, The Last of Us. This fucking multiplayer be cheating sometimes, but I love the game. Best PS3 game exclusive I ever seen. Wow, just wow, I mean like, wow. Beyond Two Souls, which is like Heavy Rain, which I'm pretty much enjoying this game so much so far, or a lot actually. Um, got Willem Dafoe, this guy was in Spider-Man, he plays as a goblin in Spider-Man 2, no, Spider-Man 1. Or, uh, pretty good game, got Ellen Page on there, she's an actor. Um, really cool so far, in very interesting storyline, because it's about like ghosts and stuff, and I'm, for me, myself, I'm really, uh, I'm really into that ghost stuff, so that's why it's really interesting to me. Heist. I ain't gonna say it on that. People's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, one of the funnest games I have ever played. Saints Row 2. Oh, it is so fun. I'm gonna show you guys my character. Uh, well, you guys, you can see that in my Let's Play. 
if you look at it. Saints Row 2. I make the sexiest characters, by the way, on Saints Row. Really? Oh, man. I bought it before, but I took it back and I thought it sucked. Because, like, oh, man, this shit sucks. Because you had to do respect. You got to do, like, activities to get respect to do missions. So I took it back. I never should have did that. Next up. Oh, man. I'm buying this for PS4. I'm buying it. I mean, I'm buying it, man. Saints Row 4. This game is freaking amazingly fun. Oh my goodness. Some people, it fucking sucks because you don't get, to, it's not like Saints Row 2. Dude, just have, a game's about having fun, man. Like, if, if, if the story's whack, at least you got the gameplay. So fun. Uh, if it came off of Vita, I'd get it too. Shit. Saints Row 3 was also very fun. A lot of people thought this would suck. I mean, if I had to say, if there was a time in the Saints Row series where it got wacky, it was 4. 3 wasn't really wa wacky, it just had a lot of, like, uh, many, uh, had a lot of uh, silly stuff in it, but it wasn't really all that wacky. But this is a really good game, too. I played from this in Saints Row 4. Uh, next up is Watch Dogs. Haven't really played it that much. Uh, kind of. Not really. Trying to get into it a bit more. Um, Walking Dead. I've been playing this with my brother. He's been watching me. Um, really cool game. Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Future Soldier. Pretty cool. Multiplayer's a bit cheating, like I said before, in other games. But it's a pretty fun game. It's kind of like um, Army of Two, but better. Next up is Sexiness. Tomb Raider 2013 edition, well, version, well, whatever, regular edition. Um, I was thinking about, I was thinking about buying this game for PS4, the definitive edition. I'm thinking about it. The only reason I want to think about it because it's so cheap. So if I, I have to say, if there was, if there was a game in 2013 that deserved a game of the year, probably Tomb Raider. I mean, like you know. Lord Croft is sexy in here as well. And oh, he's next up is a classic Hitman game. Hitman Absolution, that is. Very fun game. Like, just the yeah, cutscenes in this game are very fun and enjoyable to watch. Very, very cool. Very cool. Which I heard that they're supposed to do another Hitman game, but it got canceled or some shit like that for next year or something. Next up is Sleepy Dog, which just recently came out on PS4 or next gen console, that is. Uh, for um, remastered, I haven't gotten into it too much. Which originally True Crime, Hong Kong, Red Dead Redemption, Wild Wild West, really fun game. Story is really great. Poppy story is better than GTA Five. Fuse. Uh, a lot of people don't really like this game too much. But I, I like it. It's pretty, it's pretty fun. Got some hot characters always. If you guys watch me, I always say a certain character of the game is hot. What's wrong with that? Next up, Max Payne 3. This story... No, 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 no. I take that back. I take that back what I just said about Red Dead Dip. Oh shit, my battery's about to die. Fuck! This game is really fun. Wow, it's just... Freaking... Amazing storyline. All right, let me wrap this up for my camera dies. Oh shit! Uh, L.A. Noir, good game. Uh, people don't like it that much. Uh, Dead Rising 2, uh, good game. Uh, shit. Rid of me. That ass. That ass. That ass. That ass. That ass. Uh, good game. Good game. I haven't played it that much. I will get into some more. Uh, uh, Mafia 2. Mafia 2. Mafia 2. Uh, really good game. I can't wait for they talk more about Mafia 3 coming out soon. Uh, Red Dead Redemption Undone, uh, Undead Nightmare, Better Designs of Cody Black Ops, really fun, really fun, story's pretty good too. Uh, Great to follow five episodes from Nervous City, um, cool, cool, cool story, good story. Uh, Johnny got killed by, you know, whatever on GTA 5. Uh, that was all for today, you guys. I'll see you guys all in my next one. Unfortunately, I have to do a separate video on my whole PlayStation 3, Sony collection, whatever. But I'll see you guys all in the next one. Thanks for watching. If you stay to the end, thank you. I love you and peace. Subscribe, rate, and comment. Follow me on Twitter for more. Peace out, suckers.